Natural snow has been scarce in the east early this season, so the snowmakers have had to get things started. Here at Sunday River in Maine, they opened on October 22nd, and they were the first resort in the country to do so. They've made snow here more than 20 days since then. They now have more open terrain than any resort in the east. Nighttime skiing and riding will resume here in a couple of weeks during Winterfest weekend from the 17th through the 19th. Much colder air in the wake of midweek rain will allow the region's snowmakers to get busy. Mountain Creek in New Jersey and Shawnee Mountain in Pennsylvania will open next weekend. Blue Mountain might turn a lift sooner than that. Ski Sundown in Connecticut will get the season started as soon as they can, as will Gunstock in New Hampshire. In the Berkshires, Catamount and Ski Butternut will offer skiing and riding next weekend. You can get some turns in this weekend at Jiminy Peak. Windham and Hunter in the Catskills should kick off the season this weekend. Greek Peak in Cortland is a good bet for next week. Gore and Whiteface up in the Adirondacks have made a ton of snow already and look for West Mountain and Glens Falls to open soon. Mount Snow in Vermont will cover more runs this weekend, as will Killington, while persistent snow showers will help out at Stowe. Out west, early season snow has been plentiful at Jackson Hole, while Sun Valley and Telluride need another storm to shift the season to a different gear. Deer Valley and Utah will open this weekend. Park City and Snowbird are both in great shape as we move into December. This weekend, the snow guns will be firing from Quebec to North Carolina, so don't forget your goggles. I'm Herb Stevens, a skiing weatherman.